is creating restaurant reels without showing your face. Different ways to do TikToks and reels because that is really, really, really important what uh, we should be doing. So I found some more examples that uh, you guys can steal. And this is what to do in TikTok or in Instagram, save them. Get a, you know, get a, um, a notepad on your uh, phone or something. And every time you see one, copy the link, put it in there. Or in TikTok, there's a favorites where you can favorite it. And just go through and get inspiration. And the next time that you're at the restaurant where you're, uh, you know, taking photos or videos, use these as ideas and, and copy them. All right, copy it. There's no reason why you can't take this and make it your own. So this is just a tour through the place. It's a brewery. So we're going all the way back through seeing everything that's going on. They've got some kind of event art show going on here through the brewery area. I mean, it's quick. All right. They just walk through, then they sped it up. It was one clip. So easy to do. Let's just play it again. Just walking through so easy here's another cool one look at how simple this one is they just put straws in those drinks that's all they did now yes it's a fancy you know whatever i've never seen anything like that it's an airplane that you could put drinks into pretty cool but um that's all it is it's so simple. So can you imagine, you know, having drinks along the bar and just straw, 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 or maybe you're pouring shots, pour shot, pour shot, pour shot, pour shot. That's it. One shot. Don't even have to show your face. How easy is that? So just steal these ideas. I mean, there's a bazillion things you can do. I'm just giving you some inspiration that you can use. Um, one more here. Uh, there's a couple more here. Look at this one. It's just a point of view putting together the food. How easy is that? Again, one shot. It's kind of over the person's shoulder, just seeing their hands. So someone else is recording it. Always, always make sure the, the area is cleaned up. Here's another one because I see the glove. Make sure that they're wearing gloves. Long story short, one time I had someone reach out and say, hey, I'm a health inspector. And just so you know, you did a um, a reel. Well, actually, it was a Facebook Live that I did um, without the person wasn't wearing gloves. And they were like, I'm a health inspector and I have to report it. I think that's kind of ridiculous, but it's something to think about and make sure that you let the um, owner know, hey, make sure you're wearing gloves. But uh, side note, look at how uh, just easy this is. I mean, they sped it up a little bit um, and it looks like they cut out parts, okay? So cut out those little parts that kind of make it fatter and you can see this is 15 seconds. So how long did it take them to actually make this burrito? I don't know, it might've taken a minute or two and they boiled it down to a 15 second story. 15 seconds. And remember, we talked about stories. They have three things, right? A beginning, a middle, and an end. Does this have it? Yeah. I mean, beginning starts off stuffing it up. This is kind of the middle. We wrap it up and then we cut it. And then here's the end where we split it and we drizzle it. Beginning, middle, and end. It's a story. 15 seconds. You can copy this. I mean, it, there's, you know, nothing, nothing proprietary there. So think about what is your goal for creating reels? All right. You know, it might be two pointed. It might be number one, um, if your client, as your client to help spread the word and build awareness. So think about the three things I always talk about people, product, process. People, product, process. So in when you're in the restaurant, think about filming those things. The people, who's behind the scenes, who's doing the cooking, the product, show us making the food, all right? Um, oh, that's the product, show us the food. And the process is like what we just saw, how do we put it together? People, product, process. If you're using it for lead generation, all right, on your foodies page, this is where you go in and you wanna build a relationship with the owner. Do the real. Put it together. Don't have to show your face. 
And then once you post it, we, you know, in our other trainings, we talk about how to use it to build that relationship with the owner. All right. Check out some of our uh, our trainings about how to um, how to generate uh, clients for your restaurant marketing agency with the with the reels. So um, I'm curious, what's your biggest challenge right now? Is it editing? Is it filming, not knowing what to film? Is it time? What is it? I'm curious to know. Let me know because I want to help. Um, and then what's one action step you can take this week? Think about it. Can you go out to eat at a restaurant? Go out for lunch. Go out for dinner. Find a local restaurant and steal an idea. One of the ideas I just showed you here, maybe, and create a reel. Doesn't have to be long. It can be five seconds. Create a reel and post it either on your foodies page or help your clients and uh, post it on their page.